Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm standing in the garden that I've been working and helping on renovate and transform from a forgotten garden overgrown with weed uh, not taken care of. And uh, I've been staying here for a while um, and I decided to build a fruit, fruit forest. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say this past four and a half months has been an absolute experience and a practical education for me on taking care of this huge garden, on learning how to plant trees and how to take care of it, uh, your plants and uh, how to fight against pests and diseases like fungus. So it's been an amazing experience, but I want to just um, confess to my viewers that the first and foremost reason I decided to um, create this fruit, fruit forest is on, in memory of my younger brother who passed away last year. And Allah uh, Yerahma, and to plant a tree that even a small bird will benefit, will give him blessings in Jannah, inshallah. So instead of a tree, I decided to plant and, and build a, a, a fruit, fruit forest so that in the future anybody can benefit from this garden. So Allah, I pray for my brother. May he grant, may he get all the blessings that is coming towards him. Anyone who, anyone who eats from this garden or any animal, may all the blessings go to my little brother. And I, uh, there were times that I, there were times that I didn't feel like waking up in the morning or I would be feeling uh, a bit down in the morning but what kept pushing me day after day and what kept pushing me to grow harder, learn more and, and do so much more and was the memories of my little brother and how much I loved him and so he was my motivation to keep pushing myself to the limit so that I can learn so much more. And uh, I just want to say this experience has been wonderful. Um, so I've really put down roots for trees that inshallah, 10, 15 years, they will bloom, they will provide over there. We have, actually let's take a little walk so that I can show you all of my successes and some of my failures too. And as you can see, the ground that we're walking on, it used to be all gravel. And just like the entrance of the house, it used to be full of gravel. And what I did is I moved the gravel more towards the gate and uh, I shoveled the sand a little bit. And this grass, this grass, it's called the uh, it's called Bermuda grass. I mean, look at it. I, I have no idea where it came from. It grew by itself. Uh, mostly the rain really gave it a boost to grow. Um, but what I've done here, if you come a little bit closer. So this is a dwarf pomegranate and um, I did not know that there were such things as dwarf trees but I'm just learning so much but pomegranate is really healthy for your body and it has a long lifespan it can live up to 50 years it barely needs any water and uh, yeah it's uh, it's a really good plant or dwarf tree to have and it's super healthy too 
decided I planted some tomatoes as uh, my companion planting and uh, the tomatoes really just it, it just blew up it, it just went wild and uh, these tomatoes right here these are the local Somaliland tomatoes and they have that just beautiful texture on the outside so what I've done is I planted five rows no I planted a row of five pomegranates next to each other and then in between I planted some companion planting as we go along I'll show you and then what I did on this side is I planted five papaya trees and as we go along I'll show you some of them didn't work out but when things don't work out, you learn so much. It's a, it's a lesson. And what I've learned about the papaya trees is they have sexes. So I believe this one is a male, this one is a female. And the males grow super quickly. And then, you know, as, as I figured out this was a female, and I'm thinking there's something wrong with the plant, I'm doing something wrong, boom, my uh, mentor slash teacher slash partner and informs me that there are sexes in the papayas. So they're not all the same size, but they're all healthy. So let's move on. This one just blew up as you can see. If we go over here a little bit, there's another pomegranate and what I put next to it is uh, watermelon. The watermelon grows really good in the sandy soil. As you can see, the pomegranate is already beginning to flower. So as you can see, the pomegranate is already beginning to flower. And I'm really excited to see how this short plant is going to bear fruit. So that's, that's a surprise waiting for me. As we go along a little bit further, as we go a little bit further, you can see in between I plant from watermelon to tomatoes to uh, onions, or I believe these ones are called chives. And so, what is what is in between the the dwarf pomegranate trees? It's not really super important to me, but I'm using it more as a companion planting. So, beneath the soil, there is some type of uh, symbiosis going on, and because this is because this is sandy soil and it really dries up and it begins to crack and I put a lot of compost uh, kitchen scraps on top of it and this is some this is some chop and drop from that tree which is the, uh, the Lucina which uh, has a lot of nit nitrogen pumping into the ground okay so as we move a little bit further this one I just went crazy on the companion planting where I planted watermelon and I have some corn over there. And these ones are doing super well. I mean, this is my biggest pomegranate tree so far. And uh, I had absolutely no problems with them. They had no diseases or uh, leaf rot or any type of issues. They just, they're small as hell, but they're just growing on their own time. So you just let it, let it go like that. As we move a little bit further, this is another, uh, I don't want to call it a pioneer tree, but this is a lemon tree. So, so when you rub it, when you rub it together, oh, it smells so, so beautiful. So this is um, a lime tree, some type uh, a citrus tree, nevertheless. And this one is going to be uh, become a bigger tree. So at first I was really concerned on why is it growing so slowly, but then I found out that trees, um, when they're young trees, they're really setting their roots and they're beginning to establish themselves in this soil. So once they 
establish themselves and they grow strong in the roots and later on you don't really have to be worried about them so in the beginning you gotta take super uh, care of them let's move on this is another uh, success of mine which is the uh, passion fruit uh, to be exact yellow passion fruit and, and the vine is doing super great uh, it's doing awesome and what I've done is just very simply I attached the electrical wire that was laying around the house and I spun it around a disconnected wire and inshallah in the future I want to have a canopy of how you could see that porch it's more like um, it's uh, surrounded by walls. I want to have like a natural canopy just with the leaves of the, the passion fruit covering the entire front space where people can sit, relax, have tea, and enjoy the sunset that happens behind you. When we move a little bit further, I want to show you how my um, partner slash teacher and show me that to how I can um, how I can replenish all the plants that don't work out and put new ones in by planting seeds if you want to have a closer look here by planting seeds and uh, getting these young seedlings uh, strong before you put them in the ground. So these are tomatoes. These are garlic So at first it didn't really work for me because when you're starting from a seed you gotta be super Hands-on and, and you gotta really take care of them. It's more like a newborn baby and uh, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I don't have any kids so taking care of a newborn I'm learning. Let's move on. What we have here is these two tubes. They catch uh, a percentage of the rainwater that falls on the, uh, the shingles on the roof. And what I did is I put a uh, barrel here so I can catch as much rainwater as possible. I didn't have any money because I'm on a budget for eavesdrop system so let's move on for a little bit just over here behind me I'm not gonna go into a lot of details but this is more like my design this was this design here the uh, mini food orchard was with the help of my friend slash mentor um, who helped me design it um, and that is like a mini orchard but this design is all mine and I'm very proud of it because it's small little plots of um, plots of tomatoes hot peppers uh, there's uh, watermelon surrounding all of it I really like to plant the watermelon because I've realized that it's a really good ground cover it gives a lot of uh, plants shade and it doesn't burn the sand like it doesn't allow the Sun to burn the sand and uh, so on the four corners what I have is more passion fruit and in the future I hope to make a uh, a gazebo on so that the top is covered with the vines of the passion fruit but in the middle I planted a buttonwood which is a species of on um, what was it again mangrove yes it's in the mangrove family so it's going to have a really thick trunk and it's going to have a very large canopy hopefully it outgrows the jujube tree and creates a super big umbrella over most of the garden so that whoever comes here in the future may relax in their own garden they don't have to, they don't have to go to a restaurant people they can invite a lot of people they can have 
dinner parties or uh, luncheons. And uh, I just know that in the future, my hard work will benefit a lot of people. And uh, I wish that everybody that benefits this garden, uh, may Allah have mercy on my brother. And may Allah take my brother to Jannah for dosa. And inshallah, may we all see each other in Jannah for dosa. So before I get super emotional, I just want to say I was super, I was honored to build and design this garden. And uh, it's still so young, it's only four months old. But inshallah, in the future, I hope it turns into a mini forest, AKA food forest. And, uh, you know, may it benefit everybody in anything. All right, so my name is Robla. This was an emotional video for me, and very personal. And so I hope you like the video and shoot me some comments. I'd love to answer some questions about some of my failures, some of my blunders, and, and uh, whatever I can do to help you along, to motivate you and inspire you to build your own food forest. So once again, my name is Roble, escaped Western society, we're in Somaliland, building food forest, planting for the future, and that's a wrap. Thank you very much.